we all need to be better humans in the world and I think studying for an MBA can really help drive that change. Selena Jeffrey, CEO and founder of The Mentoring Movement. I founded The Mentoring Movement in 2020 um, due to realising that there is so much um, unhappiness and disengagement in workplaces and research has shown that there's around 87% of people are disengaged and mentoring is one of the key pieces of how to improve productivity and engagement in the workplace. And so the mentoring at the Mentoring Movement, we actually, it's a software that matches mentees and mentors and manages the end-to-end -end relationship. What was most important to me about studying for an MBA, MBA was the fact that when you have a startup, 99% fail. And I thought for me to be able to make sure that I gave my company the best possible chance of thriving was to be able to make sure that I could actually sit with my clients and really be able to understand their business across all the key pillars of an organisation. And I realised that an MBA allowed me to do that. Studying for an MBA really changed who I was. It gives you the confidence to ask more questions. But why is that? How come that is? And then why do we actually do it that way? Why can't we do it this way? So it really enables you to be able to contribute to the world in a more innovative and more curious way. I was a little bit sort of doubtful around studying online, whether you would build those relationships, but the relationships and the deep and meaningful relationships that I have built and the community, not only just with like my fellow students, but also with the AIB family and with the lecturers. I have one of the lecturers as one of my advisors um, with my company. And that is really something that you're gonna carry for a long time. Selena Joyce Jeffrey. When I completed my MBA, um, I was actually quite honoured to be asked to be the keynote speaker at the Sydney networking event. And why I was so um, excited to be able to accept the invitation was it gave me an opportunity to be able to keep the conversation going around disengagement in the workplace and how us as leaders can be able to improve the daily lives of the people that are our biggest asset in our organisations. And, and also too, um, I'm really excited about being a part of the industry panel that I was invited onto. And this again has provided me with another platform to be able to really help guide and advise um, even AIB around what is it that the students are actually needing to be able to make sure when they are in their roles and they are in their organisations being leaders, that they can do the best that they possibly can by their people to improve that global societal problem of disengagement.